What is going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome to today's tutorial where I'll be showing you guys how to create this awesome cool looking effect <laughs> um, in Photoshop and we're going to be using the uh, clipping mask and if you guys don't know what the clipping mask is it's pretty much um, the same thing as a layer mask and I've done a tutorial on this it's very very similar pretty much but this allows you to do more customizability and it's more flexible. You have a lot of more features you can do. Uh, so it's really, really, a really cool effect nowadays since, you know, everything now is like hipster ish. So you can do a lot of stuff and I'm going to show you guys how to use the clipping mask. Uh, so if you don't know how to use that, it's very simple. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and delete our ocean background. And here is our ocean. You can't see it, but it's there. It's it's invisible because it's white, a white font and the background's white. I'm going to go ahead and place a image. So I'm going to go ahead and select an image that I want on my wallpaper. And I'm going to choose, I'll choose this one for this, for this tutorial. And I want to go ahead and make sure this is all the way filled like whoops. I don't want to do that. I don't know why it's doing that. It's annoying. Okay, there we go. I really don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it zooms out with my mouse. Let me go ahead and fix that right now. I hate when you're, you're not doing something and it zooms out with the spin wheel or the scroll wheel and it's not selected. Um, animated zoom. No. Whatever. Anyway, so here's an image. Um, let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So it covers our whole entire canvas. So over here you have ocean. Make sure, and I can show you that it is ocean. They can see it. I'm going to move that in the bottom, okay? So whatever you're going to be wanting to use uh, is going to be on the top of your text, a photo, whatever. So here it is. I'm going to go and right-click our image. Make sure you don't right-click here, but you right-click on the, on the layer itself. And you go to create clipping mask. Now what this will do is if you click it, it will pretty much hide whatever is uh, on the background, on the text. So if I press Command T, you can now resize whatever is in here. So because our text is um, white, um, the letter will um, literally disappear. But if it was black or something, it would still be there. So, you know, you could change and do a lot of stuff with this, which is really, really cool. So say I wanted to do something like this, I can just press Enter. So, you know, the difference between a layer mask and a clipping mask is you have a lot more flexibility with a clipping mask. And a layer mask is pretty much, uh, you know, if you like select your image, you go and, uh, what do you do again? You, I think you right click, uh, or no, you hold down command and then you click your text. So it's going to select your text and then you click our, uh, this, a uh, quick mask tool or a layer mask tool and you click that and it will pretty much uh, let me go ahead and uh, undo what I've done on my previous uh, stuff here so uh, I can select this press command T or yeah command and then I select this so it's gonna select our text I click our layer mask and there it is so the only thing is you can't move you can't physically move the text what you have to do is you actually have to unlink the, you know, the image and the text. So check that and then select the photo and then you can freely move it around. So, you know, you have a lot more stuff that you would have to change. Whereas a clipping mask, it's just like a one step. So that's, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, so it really depends what you're working with. So, you know, a clipping mask is very simple. It's just, uh, like say a text. Um, you're pretty much putting stuff behind the text or whatever is in it. You, you're filling it in. It's like cutting a piece of paper and then you, you know, you add something to it. It's pretty much that. It's really hard to explain. You know, you have to, I don't know how to really explain it, but yeah, I mean, it hides behind our text as you can see and it disappears because our, our font is white. So that's why you can only see our uh, the outline of ocean, which is really cool. That's what a clipping mask is. It pretty much clips or cuts away the the letter ocean right here, and it leaves it. It's kind of like negative space where you have black and and white and create something like a logo. So it's something along those lines. So it's very cool and really you know really easy to accomplish. So you can see I done the the water one, 
And the reason I zoom out is because um, I want to see how it would look like on my thumbnail. Because you can see my thumbnails look, I don't know. I like this one, to be honest. I like this one a little bit better. So, yeah, that's how you can create an awesome, you know, awesome, uh, like, this effect, the clipping mask effect. You could also change the what, what it says. But the thing is, you can't because it's already a layered mask. You can only change the, the, the lettering if you have a clipping mask. And you could do that easily just by selecting this, pressing delete. Or, yeah, delete, right? No, oh, I'll delete the image. Let me go ahead and undo everything. Um, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click. And make sure whatever you're doing is in the on top of whatever you're going to be uh, hiding behind. So create clipping mask and there you go now it's in the background and you you can move it now instead of just like going to uh, un unchecking the link or the lock whatever and then select the the image I don't know it's just more work uh, so you again here you could actually change the font as you can see you could type like uh, beach if you wanted to and there you go you have beach so this is really cool uh, I prefer the clipping mask over the layer mask sometimes it depends what you're working with again but I mean, you can create a lot of cool stuff. You don't have to do, uh, you know, the beach wallpaper, of course. Um, you can do whatever. Uh, you could do like a car. You could do a music. You could also do this for a YouTube banner if you wanted to. So that's really cool. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's how you could create a really cool effect. So again, you just type, you, you know, go over to text. You type in whatever you want. I choose uh, a white font. If you change it to like, I don't know, like red or something. And you click OK, you really, you really wouldn't see it because it's it's clipping it out anyway. So the font, or the color is not going to be there because it's replacing it with our background image, which is right here. All right. So again, sorry guys if my voice sounds a little bit weird. Probably sounds like an old man. <laughs> sorry if you're an old, you know an old man. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to bash anybody, but I'm just trying to I'm trying to make videos for you guys. Okay. So if this video helped you in any way, then please leave a rating below in the rating section that'll be awesome if you can share it that'll be even more awesome and if you subscribe i'll even throw a party i'm just kidding i wouldn't throw a party but <laughs> you know i, I really, really get happy though so please comment below if you want any more tutorials like this or something similar and i will catch you guys on my next video peace